guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Bernie Hippos, and today I will be reviewing my 2020 Jeep Gladiator Sport S. This is an honest review, so don't you go away, and let's get started. First and foremost, I love this Jeep and man, basically it drives awesome. And next is I really wanted uh, to have a 4x4 truck. When I was young, I really dreamt of uh, having a Jeep Wrangler. It was uh, really my uh, dream car uh, back then. But then come 2016 and I was planning to really get one because I needed it for work. So we decided to get the uh, 2016 Jeep Patriot instead and that Jeep is now my wife's. It's a very reliable vehicle, but I need something a little bit bigger and more capable. And when they announced the 2020 Jeep Gladiator in 2018, I fell in love immediately and it was on sale on the spring of 2019. So first is what I love about this uh, truck is because of the engine number one it's very capable it has a 3.6 liter pentastar v6 engine and it's the engine for all jeep gladiator models second is the look man i've seen a lot of people when i'm on the road their heads were like whoop, whoop. yeah man this is bad <laughs> this truck is beautiful it's amazing i love the design i love how it looks i love the overall appearance of this beast and I call it Beastie, by the way. And number three that I like is, you're like buying four in one vehicle. Number one, it's four by four. It's a truck. It's an adventure vehicle. You can take the top off, you can take the doors off, you can even fold down the windshield. And it's a passenger vehicle. It's basically my uh, daily driver, so I bring it every day to work. And since I'm a videographer, I needed something that's uh, more capable in the snow, especially uh, during the winter here in Ontario. It's kind of harsh, so I'm ready for that. And of course, the truck bed. The truck bed here is amazing, fits perfectly for my workflow. All my gears, including my tripods, my uh, light stands, and everything I can put in the back without any problems. And the tonneau cover, well, it's so amazing, guys. It's like uh, water resistant, so there's no water going in the truck. And let me tell you about other stuff that I really love about this vehicle. Number one, it's easy to park. Yeah, you can see clearly when you're backing up, when you're going to the left or right, it's so easy to drive. Number two, the backup camera of this beast is amazing. The clearest I've seen in a vehicle. Yeah, let me tell you that. A lot of Jeep Gladiator owners can attest to that. The camera is very clear. I love using that one all the time. I think I'm not going to buy any other vehicle without a camera. It really helps a lot. Especially this truck is very long. So easy to drive, easy to park, and Man, I love every minute of it. It puts a smile on my face every time I drive it. It never gets old, guys. My wife was telling me, wow, you really love your Gladiator. And she agrees, it's amazing. Of course, there are some annoyances. Number one is the AC or the HVAC. Man, this HVAC blows really hot air or really cold air. There's snow in between. So I was able to find the sweet spot and sometimes I put it on auto if I have to. Number two is the radio. You know, the radio is not consistent. It keeps uh, dying once in a while. Or if not, after you start the vehicle, it doesn't start at all. So it's really annoying, especially if you wanna uh, listen to some news or to some radio. But the thing about the radio is I really like the screen. It's so nice and it's responsive, especially when uh, using CarPlay for Google Maps. It's amazing. Next thing that I don't like is the seat. The seat is kind of annoying because you can't really adjust it to, to the way you want it. Especially uh, during the winter or during the fall, I have to wear jacket. So my back hurts sometimes, especially if I'm using a parka or a thicker jacket because it gets in the way of the seat. It's really hard to explain unless you experience it yourself. 
Next thing that I don't really like is the rims, man. I hate it. I hate it. I hate that silver color. I immediately plastic dipped it to black color. It looks way, way better. And also the stock tires, it's a 245 size on a 17 inch rim. It's a Bridgestone uh, dueler, if I'm not mistaken. I hold up replacing the stock tires until I've tested it in the winter last year. It performed okay and I've experienced a lot of sway on the road, even though I'm on four high. So I had to get a set of uh, winter tires and there's a snowflake symbol, which is really good for winter and other driving conditions. I really love how this thing drives. It just have a little bit of play on the steering, but not really a problem for me since I already got used to it. But some people, they had bad steering problems and now there's a uh, TSB uh, that you can bring your Gladiator to the dealer and have it checked and replace the steering gear. I have no plans to bring it to the dealer for that reason alone since it's barely noticeable on my part and last but not the least you know one of the most annoying things in this jeep gladiator is the start stop man i really hate it i just wish that fca didn't even put it there it's ridiculous man it keeps stopping every time you're on idle or every time you're on the red light man it's ridiculous so what i do is i just turn off this uh, avenger looking icon or the a icon of uh, this jeep and it gets the job done so i never never ever forget to turn it off so once i turn the engine on that's the next button that i have to press and it gets the job done a lot of people are recommending and using the taser mini but i think in my uh, preference i don't really need it because i just have to press it and it gets the job done no fuzz no buzz so let's say i don't have a jeep gladiator yet and i'm planning to get one i'm going to get the mojave it's the perfect vehicle for my needs, especially look at the stance. It's one inch higher than the Rubicon. And it looks amazing. I don't really have to uh, change the tires or anything. It will be my vehicle. I don't need to lift it because I'm not the type of guy who goes off-roading a lot and I don't do extreme rock crawling. My Jeep is more of a mall crawler. Yeah, I admit that and I'm proud of it. And it's my daily driver. Overall guys, man, I love this thing. It's uh, the best vehicle that I have owned. Well, I just owned two in my lifetime. Aww. The 2016 Jeep Patriot and this one. I really plan to keep this beast for a long time. And yeah, by the way, the 2021 Jeep Gladiator is out now, especially the 3.0 Echo or Eco diesel engine. But I'm not a fan of diesel. I'll stay with gas. But anyway, guys, I highly, highly recommend the Jeep Gladiator if you're looking for an adventure vehicle a more capable truck, a 4x4, a passenger vehicle, and a whole lot more. It can tow. It can do a lot of stuff. I hope this video helps someone who is looking for a Jeep Gladiator. If you want me to uh, cover more of the Jeep Gladiator, please let me know in the comment section below. So there you go, guys. Don't you forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and like this video. It will help a lot. And hit that bell notification for more upcoming videos. This has been Bernie Hippos. I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.